Hey there, beer drinkers. Kid Ugly again. Or if it's first time, welcome to my channel. It's nice meeting you. So, today I'm doing another one from Abita. Abita, I think that's right. Abita. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. Abita Brewing out of Louisiana. Um, Abita Springs, Louisiana, it says on the bottle. This is their Purple Haze. It is a raspberry lager. Coming in 4.2% alcohol. Um, it'd be better if it said 4.20% alcohol. Uh, if you get that joke. On the back, it says, Clouds of real raspberries swirl in this tart and tantalizing lager brewed with pilsner and wheat malts along with Vanguard hops. Let the scent of berries and this hazy purple blue brew take your taste buds on a harmonious journey inspired by the Good vibes and free spirits of New Orleans. Uh, independent, brewed with spring water. Um, so it's a lager. Sounds like it's kind of mixed. Sounds like it's a, a half and half, like a lager, and like maybe uh, not so much a sour, maybe like a wild. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm gonna pour. Uh, according to Untapped, I've had this before, but it was like five years ago, and I can't remember anything about it. There is a date on the bottle, um, but I don't know. It's a bunch of numbers, and I don't know if it's like a Best Buy date, uh, bottle date, what exactly it is. So, I don't know when this was bottled. I don't know how old it is. Let's know that it's beer. It's a raspberry lager. That, that's what I know. It definitely pours like a sour, um, hazy looking, almost peach color. Like definitely a kind of more of like a peach. Um, it says purple haze. What? What? Why is it called purple haze? Is, is this because it's too old that it looks this way? Because I don't see any purple in this haze at all. Like I do definitely see haze. Um, I'm not seeing any purple. It's more peach colored to me. Maybe, maybe a fresh one has a purple look to it. I'm not really sure. Um, there is no head on this. It fizzle like it came, gone, no head. So, you know, there. I definitely get that sweet tart raspberry. Yeah, that's that's a tiny bit of yeast, lots of raspberries. All right, it's a tartness, a little bit of yeast. Not much else going on there. So let's get into her. Let's get a drink of her. Let's see how she tastes. Hmm. So I think if you're trying to get in sours, if you're trying to get into more tarts, wild ales, farm saisons, um, you have so much farm saisons. But if you're trying to get into the wild fermented, sours, uh, even that, you know, around that kind of type, this would be a good beginning beer for that. Um, it says lager on it. I'm definitely getting more of the sour kind of vibe off of it than a lager. And it's more than likely, it's got to be the raspberries that's doing that. Um, it is kind of sweet, fruity. Am I getting a bunch of raspberry? I do get some sweet berryness in there. It's really tart. Well, not really. It's a decent amount of tart, but it's not too much. Easy on the tongue. This would be a good summertime, just chilling on the porch. Watching the fireflies as dusk happens, kind of a, a sweet tart drink. Um, it's rather delicious. I like it. Kind of dry in the back of the throat. It definitely is like that kind of lager meeting the sour kind of vibe going on, and it's not bad. Like I said, it'd be a good beginning beer for somebody who wants to get in the sours. Um, something like that. I just realized my camera's kind of tilted, so I don't know how that's going to turn out, but 
I'm gonna give this a 3.75 out of 5 because it's it's not bad. It's good. It'd be better in warmer weather, without a doubt. Um, it's a good beginning beer for people wanting to expand out. So like, I'm not saying give this to somebody who's only had Budweiser and you're trying to get them in the craft. But if somebody's in the craft and they're looking to expand past their IPAs, past you know your browns, your porters, your stouts, and you want to get in that more sour, start them off with something like this. This would be perfect for that. Until next time, cheers.